Welcome to my latest episode of Weekly Insights with Joni. And the material is based on my two online courses, Finding True Love and Drive Through Make It Your Own. And these are both exclusively on udemy.com. And this is the seventh episode of the nine part series on the seven myths of love and happiness. And what we're going to talk about today is the myth of physical beauty. The myth of physical beauty is perhaps the single most effective myth at keeping you separated from your true self and therefore disconnected from true love. Deceptively alluring, this myth works in concert with the myth of aging and telling the same toxic story. The narrative of this story is for you to be loved, admired, and wanted, you must be perceived as physically beautiful. This myth is akin to a magical potion that can be applied to anything external and in doing so amplifies the power of its illusionary value. For this reason, the myth of physical beauty is the money maker of all the seven myths of love and happiness. The premise is that if something is made to look sexy and beautiful on the surface, it will be accepted at face value as being a better choice than anything else in comparison. What makes the myth of physical beauty so difficult to hang on to and then to let go of is because think about what happens every morning when you look at yourself in the mirror. Think about the voice that comes to you from that negative critic that was told to you about what is physical beauty and how do you stack up to it. The problem is, first of all, there is no universal standard of what physical beauty is. It varies from culture and it varies over ages and over time. But I am going to tell you a quick story about me. When I look into my mirror, I can hear my mother's voice when I was a young teenager. And I must have said to her, oh, ma, do I look pretty? And she said to me, Joan, you're good enough looking for all normal purposes. Meaning I'm sure that I was not going to make my fame and fortune on my face. That was a hard comment to take. And actually, it wasn't even an original comment. I realized when I was taking acting lessons when I was in my 40s, that that line comes from a famous play, Our Town. But that is what I saw as a young woman. I thought, well, maybe I better study harder. I think maybe that was her point. But when I look back at those pictures of myself, I say to myself now, Joan, you were a very pretty girl. What if you would have owned that? How would my life be different? How would my trajectory through life have been altered had I felt that? Or believed that I really was pretty because in truth I was. So you spend a little time in your mirror and think about how your perception of your own physical beauty has been affected by what you have been told in the past. When you consider how most people were taught that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, the definition of physical beauty becomes inconsistent. Therefore, there is no definitive agreement on what the defining characteristics of physical beauty are. Most of us are left to define physical beauty based on other people's opinions or the latest social trends. Mind you, these outside opinions of physical beauty are predicated on outside looks. But is it true outside looks can be the determining factor for how we feel about ourselves on the inside? It would appear so until you come to understand that how you perceive yourself and others on the outside is based on 
how you feel about yourself from the inside. To change the stories we tell ourselves about physical beauty, again, look into your mirror, look into your eyes. The beauty of who you are is in your eyes because it is the sum of the experiences that you've been going through and you have gone through and what is to come. So that's a better way of defining physical beauty is the beauty that you possess from within you that you then show outwardly in your everyday life. The real damage of the myth of physical beauty is that it blinds you to your inner beauty. It also detaches you from your inner authentic self. So how do you start overcoming this damage? With daily practices of self-love and self-care. Without daily practices of self-love and self-care, this myth leaves you emotional well-being highly susceptible to other people's opinions of what constitutes physical beauty. Therefore, your absolute best defense against the myth of physical beauty is to love who you are unconditionally. I'm back to the example of you looking in your mirror because what you're going to see now is what am I going to do and how am I going to start a self-care and self-love routine for myself? The first thing to do is acknowledge what works for someone else may not be in aligned with you. Because of that, explore your options with an open mind and feel into which of them creates the ideal state of well-being for you. Also, any routine that involves exercising, Schedule a visit with your primary doctor and be sure to consult with professional fitness trainer to discuss what options are best for you. What I'd like to do now is share with you 15 proven options to help you with a routine for self-love and self-care. Here are 15 easy and proven options for developing self-love and self-care routine meditation, conscious breath work, healthy food, exercise, yoga, taking a bath, swimming, massage, running and dancing and moving your body, organic and non-allergenic lotions for your body, naps and sleeping well, daily affirmations, walks in nature, lots of laughter, Spend time with people you love to be around. You may already be engaging in one or more of these right now, and that's wonderful if you are. The thing to consider then is not only which of these work the best for you, but also which of them can you spend more of your time doing. To help you integrate what you've been learning today, please allow me to guide you through three powerful journal prompts. To further help you integrate what we've been talking about today, I'm going to guide you through 10 affirmations. When you perceive any part of yourself is not being physically beautiful, reconnect with your true self by saying the following, my body is a beautiful temple. I am perfect just as I am. I am physically beautiful. I am sexual and attractive. I am joyful in my own skin. I am healthy and abundant. I love and enjoy my beautiful body. I am always connected to true love. My body is a conduit for my creative power. I experience physical pleasure without guilt. Thank you for joining me for this episode. And the next episode is going to be on the myth of shame and blame. And for more information on my acclaimed online courses, Finding True Love and Drive Through and Make It Your Own, and to sign up for them, visit udemy.com and type my name, Joni Marks, in the search box. And until we meet again, 
Remember every morning, look into your mirror, smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend, for I came into this world to be myself. For that I came. Thank you and all my best.